Here's a trick with four jacks. One, two, three, four jacks, and four blank cards. Okay, so we have four blanks in the left hand, and four jacks in the right hand. So we have four jacks and four blank cards in my hands. Okay? Now, if I count the jacks one at a time, one, two, three, four jacks, we will have four jacks here and four blank cards here. So we have four jacks here. Let's count. One, two, three, four jacks. Right? Two jacks, three jacks, and four jacks. That leaves me with four blank cards here. One, two, three, four blanks. So if I take a blank and I stick it there, that should leave me with three blanks here. And if I take a jack and I place it in here like this, I lock it in there. It can't get out. Except when I do this. Because now the jack is here, and we have one, two, three, four blanks. Let me do that again. You might have missed it. We'll take a blank and stick it here. That leaves me with three blanks. I'll take a jack and stick it in here. Lock it in so it can't get out. Now just by doing this, you see the jack winds up over here, and we have one, two, three, four blanks. Let me try one more time. There is a, a blank there, a jack there, I'm sorry, a blank there. That leaves me with three blanks and a jack here. So if I just do this, you see what happens? The jack winds up here, and the last blank winds up here. That's Four Card Matrix by Frank Paris. Hope you liked it. <clears throat> okay, let's try it again here. Check, check, check. One, two, three, four, five, and go. All right, um, how to do the trick. Okay. You have four blank cards, which I turned face down. You have four, black, uh, four red jacks, which I turned face down. And I count out one, two, three, four jacks. Then I count out one, two, three, four blank cards. Okay. I'm going to take the blanks, square them up. Then I'm going to take the jacks, square them up, face up. Okay. Now, at, at this point, I'm going to count out the four jacks again and say I have four jacks. And at the same time, I'm just going to out jog one blank. And when I push them back together again, I'm going to pick up not just the four jacks, but the out jog blank. They hardly notice that at all, okay? And I'm going to just turn over the jacks one at a time and say I have one jack, show the audience, come back, drop that jack, okay, onto the blank deck, okay? And then I do the same thing with the second jack, except I don't drop it, I just show it to them. Third jack... And, of course, the fourth jack. Nothing gets dropped, and I square those up. And I just lay the blank cards over here. Okay? So, in essence, what I have is three jacks and a blank card. That's what I wind up with here. Okay? And on this side, I wind up with three blanks and a jack. Okay? So, now, what I'm going to do is say, I have four jacks here, am I correct? And just casually drop a jack underneath. Just casually. All right? And at this point, I'm going to count them and show them. One, two, three, four. Now, the reason I put that jack on the bottom, as I was saying to them, I have four jacks here, is to get the jacks into the Elmsley count position. All right? And that's what I did so that I could do the Elmsley count and show three of the jacks as four jacks and not show the blank card. Now, at this point, the blank card is on top. Okay? Now I'll flip the whole packet over of jacks. Okay, at this point. And I'm going to show the bottom jack. All right? And at the same time, I'm going to turn over 
the pack and show two jacks. On the top is the blank. I'm going to drop the blank here. Okay. I'm going to do that again. I'm going to show the four jacks. I'm going to show them again. I'm going to turn this over and show the bottom jack. And I took the top jack off here. I'm showing two. Now I drop the blank here. I got one jack there. And now I show these two jacks. Three and four. Now at this point I have three blanks and a jack. Okay. So what I'm going to do at this point is just take one of the banks and casually just drop it on the bottom and say, I'll do that again. I have four blanks. Am I correct? Four. Just casually put it on the bottom. And now you're in the Elmsley count position to hide the jack. So you count one, two, three, four, doing your Elmsley count. And now the jack is on the top of the bottom. Actually, it's on the top when you turn it over. Now I'm going to flip the whole thing over and say, look, I'm going to take one of the blanks and stick it here. That leaves me with three blanks. And I usually say, am I correct? And they say yes. And I say, very clever. Okay, and now I'll take one of the jacks and stick it in the Elmsley count position. Okay, I have one of the jacks here, which they think is a blank. And now I'm going to just square it up, just click it a little bit and say, you know what, that jack has vanished. And now it is over here. And you know what I have here? I have one, two, three, four blanks. So maybe you didn't see that. Let me turn the whole packet over again and take a blank and stick it there. Again, it's another jack. All right, and I say that leaves me with three blanks. Now I'm going to take a jack here again and lock it in. And say, now watch, I'm going to just throw it up. It does a double somersault and winds up over here. The jack and the blank has changed places to the Elmsley count. All right, and again, I have a bottom jack over here. I have a jack on the bottom. There it is. Okay, so at this point, Okay, I flip everything over and I say I'm going to take the last blank and stick it there. That leaves me with three blanks. This is a blank already. This is a blank. I'm going to just drop it on there and just do a little switcheroo. And there's the last jack and the last blank. And that's Frank Paris's four card matrix using ungimmicked cards and the Umsley count. Cool trick. Enjoy.